Hi, I'm Amanda Montalvo. I'm a registered dietitian and certified nutritionist. And in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to grow your own broccoli sprouts at home in a mason jar. And I also made an instructional sheet that you can follow these five steps that go along with the video. In case you forget or don't wanna watch it again, it's linked below and let's get started. just finished the first part you have your sprouts soaking in the mason jar now what do you do you let them sit overnight or just 8 to 12 hours during the day and then after that you're gonna start rinsing them so for the next five to six days you're gonna rinse the sprouts out and then turn them over in that dish that I recommended in the beginning so they can drain you do it twice a day some people say every eight hours I just do it in the morning and at night for five to six days All right, so your sprouts have sprouted. It's been five or six days, and now it's time to get the little seeds out because they hold a lot of moisture, and we don't want it to get moldy inside the jar. So you're going to get a mesh colander so that you can rinse the sprouts out one last time and a large bowl to help us get the seeds out. If you have a salad spinner, then you can use that. It makes it a lot easier, but either way, it's not super crazy. If you don't get them all out, it's all right. Don't stress about it. We just want to get the majority out. So let's get started. Okay, so we just de holed or de seeded our broccoli sprouts, and now we're gonna take that thin strainer that we were using, we're gonna put all the broccoli sprouts in it and give them one last really good rinse. It's the drying process now, so unless you're using one of those de holers or like salad mixers, you're gonna have to let them sit out for 8 to 12 hours, which is what I'm doing. I got a big bowl and I'm layering it with paper towels broccoli sprouts, paper towel, broccoli sprouts. And I did that about three to four times. Now it's gonna sit eight to 12 hours. Then I'm gonna move broccoli sprouts to the glass jar container. All right, so now that your sprouts are dry, you can move them to back to your mason jar, but with a regular top this time, and you're gonna store it in the fridge. You can top these on salads. I mix them into pretty much every dish I eat, especially in soups, they taste really good. I do try to eat them raw the majority of the time because I know that that's when my body's gonna get all the nutritional benefits from them, and there are tons. I'm linking my blog post to this video about all the nutritional benefits as well as the written instructions so that you can get those if you don't want to rewatch the video or you just want to share it with a friend. Thanks for watching. Please follow me, Amanda Montalvo RD, on Instagram. Same thing on Facebook and YouTube.